Hi, I'm Ryan with Exploring an H, and today we're going to go over how to use a high lift jack. High lift jack is a great tool to have out in the field. It has a lot of great uses winching, um, clamping, prying, and most of all jacking. Alright, so we just took this uh, jack out of the truck. Most of the time a high lift jack lives outside the vehicle, so it's exposed to trail dust, dirt, mud, road salt, whatever it may be. They just get dirty and gummed up. It's a good idea to keep your jack in a good working order. That means keeping it lubricated, keeping it clean of debris. After a trail ride, it's usually best to hose it off with water or compressed air, get all the grime out of there and lube it up. We're gonna go ahead and lube this one. Um, you want a, just a penetrating lubricant is probably the best thing to use for these. So we'll get the climbing pins, the reversing lever, and a little bit on the standard bar itself. So why don't we take a look at the different parts of the jack so that we know what to call everything. All right, so this is a high lift 48 inch extreme. They come in different sizes, different models, uh, different attachment points. They're all the same function. Um, farm jacks are a generic term for this. They work the same way. Might look a little different. Everything's the same. So the different parts, we have the standard bar. That's the bar that runs up the whole middle of everything with the holes in it for the climbing pins to rest in. Handle, spring clip, this is your reversing lever. This is what makes it go up and down. Climbing pins, you can see here, they have springs in them. Those are the pins that actually will walk up these holes and back down when you jack up and down. This whole body is called the jack body and then the nose of the jack and the base. All pretty simple, you don't really need to know the technical terms, but as we talk about them, now you'll know what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and start lifting up the vehicle. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put on some leather gloves. Jack can get dirty, slippery, you don't wanna pinch a hand. Uh, drop this on your hand, so we'll keep these on for protection and grip. So what we, you wanna make sure of is that the reversing lever is in the up position it should be that way when you pull it out of the truck. Ours is, so up for up, down for down. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and stick this under the Jeep. You wanna make sure that you're jacking from a point that can handle jacking. This uh, Jeep JK, it has factory rock rails on it and these are suitable for jacking with a high lift jack. What you're gonna do is clip the bar out, pull it up to the rock rails. At this point, you can lever it down a little bit, get a little bit of tension on it, Make sure that the jack is straight up and down. It's not going side to side. And once you're all set, you can go ahead, keep your hand in between the jack and your vehicle. That way if it does slip, you don't scratch your paint, dent it. A lot of people grab it from the inside, which when you're first putting tension on the jack, is not a bad idea. But once this jack gets tension on it, if you let go of this bar, it's gonna come up and it'll really wanna pinch your hand in there and it'll hurt. So I like to keep mine on the outside in between the jack and the body of the vehicle. Once you're all set, you can go ahead and jack. You'll hear those climbing pins click in and out. Once you get enough tension on it, you're gonna to wanna to get your hand out of there. If this jack slips out or moves, you don't want to pinch your hand in there. I'd rather have a dented body panel than a broken hand. So, we'll keep going up. You want to use two hands on this jack at all times. This handle can get slippery. If it bounces back, you want to be able to control it. So using two hands is a lot safer. You want to keep your head out of the path of this jack handle. When you're pushing down, you have the weight of the vehicle pushing up on this bar. If you slip, if it breaks, if something moves, you don't want it snapping back up into your face. If you need more leverage, what you can do is head to the back, grab it with two hands, and use your weight to pull down. Make sure you hear those climbing pins click going up and down.
So at this point, we're gonna clip the bar back in. Make sure that's clipped in when you're not holding on to it. The tire is off the ground, it's unloaded. This is as high as we need to go at this jack, point. By design, is very unstable. It's a single point on the ground, single point on the vehicle. It's tall, you're often off camber at weird angles, weird positions, rocks on the ground. That's one of the reasons that the high lift is so great for off-road recovery is because it has a lot of use in those situations. What happens though is it's very dangerous to work under because it can kick out or slip and crush you underneath the vehicle. If you are doing any work underneath the vehicle, make sure to use jack stands, blocks of wood, and set it down on those instead of relying on the high lift. When you're done, jack it back up with the high lift, remove the jack stands or the blocks, and then lower it back on the ground. So at this point, we're done getting on stock, we're done working on the tire, whatever we need to do, and it's time to head back down. What you're gonna do with the jack handle clipped in the up position, is take the reversing lever and flip it down. Remember, down for down, up for up. So what we're gonna do is grab the handle of the jack, and all the force on this is gonna be going up. So what we're gonna do is start off in this position again, get all the leverage that we can, Unclick that first climbing pin and slowly lower it back up. Unclick the second one. We're just going to continue doing that until we're all the way down. Once you get far enough down, the jack is going to want to wiggle around and have a tendency to fall. This is again where I put my hand in between the jack and the body panel to protect it for when it starts to slide out. This jack head takes about 150 pounds to keep the climbing pins engaged. Once you're under that amount, it's going to drop right to the ground. So be prepared for that as you lower it down. And there it goes. Crank her in. Oh, I just need to flip this lever. <laughs> 